Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the VPG YouTube channel where tonight we've got some very special games coming up for you in the Europe E-League between two of the best teams in the tournament and well one of the best teams in Turkey which is a feat in its own versus one of the English sides in Mercier. Altay Esports are going up against them today should be a fantastic game we've got lots of people in the chat supporting both of the teams and well i cannot lie there is a few more from the turkish side because as we all know already the turkish sides they just come out in numbers they come out in force they love to support their teams but before we can get into the match obviously i love that everybody is here ready and rearing to go and a big thank you to all of you in chat but let's have a look at what this tournament is all about, what is on the cards, and what is to play for. The cash prizes. There is two cash prizes up for grabs. The finalists will both receive money, $200 for second, and the winners of the Europe E-League will be receiving $900. Very big prize pool here for the two sides that managed to make it all the way to the final. And we have lots of games in the round of 32 as well. Rotherham versus PMI, that should be a fantastic game. Uh, Kaya versus FCVP, uh, MGT Pegues versus Besiktas, we've got Hypnotics versus Metronomo, uh, we've also got uh, Mex Tiones versus True Football, that'll be a very difficult game for the English side, True Football, obviously um, in the Esports Premier before, uh, that'd be a big task for them. Thalsu versus the Dregs, Black Sheep versus Loud HCX, Bradford versus Predators. Um, is this the round of 16? Is this the game that's already been played? Because it says Mercier is supposed to be playing fantastic there. Uh, Mad Army versus AC Strenu. Not too sure how to pronounce that name. Sorry, I'm not uh, Norwegian. <laughs> Focus versus Kara Gumruk. Turkish side also in there. MK Esports versus Dark Side. Black Panther versus Russo. Uh, Dino Burger versus Rapid. Exotic versus VFL 1848. And Brescia versus Napoli. A clash of the Italian sides. That would definitely be a good one to watch. But today we do indeed have the game that everybody's talking about. The Turkish side going up against the English side. Everybody's prepared and ready for this one. And I'm sure we cannot. We cannot wait to get into it, that is for certain. We're about two minutes out. So why don't we have a quick look at the team lineups before we do indeed get into the game. Let me just get it up on my screen here. So we've got in goal for Mercier, we've got Fra on Vispa. In left back, we've got Inves 1. Centre-backs, we've got JS and Pimiros. Uh, sorry. Uh, right back, we've got Matt So. Centre defensive mid, we've got Mela. Left mid, Sanji. Right mid, Sokra. In the cam role, it's Kalmin. I'm not too sure. I, I know that people pronounce it differently because it's an, like an Irish name. Kalmin is how it looks like it's pronounced, but I'm pretty sure it's like more pronounced Kevin. Um, apologies if I pronounced it wrong. Rambolic at striker with Leviken. It's the striking roles for the English side. And now for Alte, we've got Middleton and goal. We've got Bane, Ramos and Preston in the centre-back roles with Jesper and Tim at CDM. The right mid is the OG Dennis and the left mid is Jammer. The cam, we've got Tommy Jr. And the two strikers, we've got the, the J fella and Zanaris. Two fantastic lineups. I'm getting some, some laughing for probably from the pronunciation. I do apologise. Uh, but either way, we are ready to get underway with the game. Just about a minute out, and then we will be getting into it and underway with the action. Looks like Mercia are ready to go. I think we're just waiting on Alte, and then we will be getting into the game. Look at the support for the, the, the side there, the Turkish side. So many names in chat. Let me see if I can get some of them. Erdal in there, Farouk in there, Ultra Tay in there. Uh, we've got Tama. Tamer, even. We've got Marco, Passa in there, Dennis, everybody supporting the Turkish side. 
We've also got Reese in there as well. Big up, Reese. How you doing, mate? Sorry I didn't reply to your message in chat earlier, but I got to you now. Everybody supporting Alte Esports here. Are they going to pick up the win? Or are the fans going to go home bitterly disappointed? Well, we'll have to wait and find out. Let's head on over into the lobby screen to see what the English side are cooking up. So it was a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. Fairly, fairly normal formation um, in the state of pro clubs right now. We expect the left and right mid to play more like wingers going forward, but then tracking back, getting back into position to help cover uh, for the left and right backs, cover through the centre. CDM there also for that defensive solidity. Uh, we've got Kevin or Kalman uh, again. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> At Cam, obviously looking to link all the play together. And then the two strikes up top. Everybody's ready and rearing to go. But if you are new to pro clubs, if you are, you know, getting on the hype train, getting on the the content hype train, enjoying all the content side of things, make sure to stick around. Make sure to jump onto the VPG YouTube channel. Check out the videos. There's plenty of meta builds, all that good stuff. And there's plenty of fantastic gameplay as well through the VPG Esports Premier, which will be starting again in just over, I think it's just under a week now. I'm pretty sure it's the 14th that we're looking to get started again. It's 22nd of April, 22nd. So we're just over, just under two weeks away from the VPG Sports Premier from starting again, and that will be fantastic. We're very excited for that over here at VPG. But let's see how long the two teams are going to be before they get into game. Let me just check in the uh, in the Discord. Does anybody is anybody from? Um, from Altai watching at the moment, could you let me know in chat if uh, how how much longer you guys are, are going to be until we get into game? If anybody's watching any of the players, anything like that, maybe you're already ready. I'm not too sure. Maybe you're waiting on a couple of players. But either way, what we're going to do while I just wait to hear from uh, Altai is we're just going to quickly throw it to a very short break. They'll be around ten minutes. Okay, so we're gonna. Go to a quick break. We're going to throw it to a very short break. But once we are back from this break, we will get into game and get ready for this best of two action coming up to decide who will be moving on through the Europe E-League and who will be going home bitterly disappointed. We'll be back in a couple of moments' time, guys. We'll see you very shortly.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the VPG Europe E League, where we are ready to go with the game, the first game of the evening Mercia Esports versus Alte Esports. And you guys are ready in the chat. Everybody at home ready and rearing to get this one underway, just like me. Cannot wait to see what this match has in store for us. So many people watching at home. If you haven't already, I know this is a bit cheeky of me, but make sure to leave a like on the stream. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, it does help out a lot. Um, and obviously with so much going on at the moment with the Champions E League, we've got the Europe E League, we've got the VPG Sports Premier starting again soon. There is uh, not a better time for you to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the latest virtual pro game and action. But I'm pretty sure the invite is now being sent out. And then we will be getting underway with this one. Alright, they've sent it. I think we might have to restart lobby, maybe. Because the invite hasn't quite come through yet. Hopefully it will come through soon. People are just backing out. I think trying to get the invite to come through. Hasn't quite come through yet, though. Everybody's getting their, their start and flags out. Everybody's ready for it to go underway. Remember, guys, keep the chat nice and clean. Keep the uh, keep everything nice and friendly. It is a big match, but we're all here for pro clubs and some good pro clubs action. What's the uh, what's the scores in the real life Champions League games? I saw that City were one nil up and then went two one down. Oof, Bayern two one up. Serge Gnabry and then Harry Kane penalty. He'll love that. The invite. There we go. The invites come through. We are getting into game. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First game of this best of two. Mercier versus Alte. Who's going to pick up the win? We will have to see. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All 22 players ready and rearing to go. Alte versus Mercia Esports. This should be a banger. This should be enthralling. Sanji. Kelman. Who's out wide to Matsui. Sanji once again. Let's see if he's got that black leg. Remo shrugging off defenders left and right. Big chance. Power shot comes out, but blocked by the defence. Very well defended there by the English side as they look to come forward. Oh, sorry, by the yeah, by the English side as the Turkish team looks to come forward. Can't do anything. Alte in the blue and Mercia in the black. So I we'll have to see what both these see both these teams can do. Mercia having a good chance going forward there, but well defended by Alte as. Mercier back on the ball once again. Mela, the CDM. Now it's Sanji once again. Moving it up towards Matso. Kalman. Used that pinged pass into the feet, but well tackled, but good pressure coming out from the English side. Managed to win it back. Mela. That's Remo. Ball played out wide to Inves. Just twist and turn and looking for an optimal pass. Sanji. 
Nice little boost of speed down the wing, but does get tackled as Zanaris comes away with it. Volte going to look to... Yeah, it's a bit of possession for themselves here. Start to bring themselves into the game. Lots of chance going on in the chat for the Turkish side. Zanaris. Coming down this right-hand side with pace. Moves it back towards Jesper. Good tackle and they come away with the ball here. Mercier. Very well played. Now it's Sanji. Into the feet of Remo. The pass not quite there, but really good press in there from Lev. Ramos can clear it away down the other end of the field. Very important to get the ball clear in those kind of positions. Very obvious that Mercier are very good at Crescent, the opposition. Matso, ball played into the midfield for Sanji. Now it's Mella. Really nice one-two football, one touch. Matso, good look for a cross here. But wins his team a corner. As Alte have started on the back foot here. There's not been a goal yet, so not too worrying if you are a Turkey fan. Big weapon. Nods it down to Remo. Passed across the box. Ramos can clear. Jay wins the header, but straight back into the feet of Mercier, who win themselves a throw-in down in this advanced position. Remo into the feet of Lev. Now it's Matt So. Can he find the space for a shot? Twisting and turning. Tries to pull the pass back across, but it's well defended. Kalman. Again, looking for that pinged pass, but unable to beat the defender. Well blocked, well intercepted by Alte. Zanaris. Jesper. Tim Sanju with a good interception once again. Strong in the midfield so far. Mercier. Jammer. And that makes the tackle and moves it back through the midfield. Lovely ball played over the top by Kjalmin. The feet of Lev looks for the extra pass, but Denny denies. Very well defended. Both teams showing here how patient they are in defence, making sure that they don't give the ball away in any dangerous positions. They have here, though. Kalmin into the feet of Lev might take it on green times, but blocked by a defender. Matsoi moves it back towards Sanji. Tanaris with a tackle and clears it away. Oh, Adrian comes out of his box. Dangerous here. Do manage to win it back, though. Lev goes out of play. Ball goes into touch for Mercy Air Ball once again. Mella, Yarmin, Sanji. Oh, it's a really nice touch from Lev. Manages to win it back. It's Ramos trying to get in there. Bananas falls to Lev, and it's a goal. The English side take the lead. Mercy air. And it was bobbling around. But in the end, that man came out on top, found the back of the net, and that will be the first goal of the game. Going towards Mercier. And Alte will want to get back into this one as quickly as they can. Inves. Nice reverse Elastico there. Beat Denny, but look to go back, but well defended by Alto. This is a best of two aggregate score line, so there is plenty of time for both of these sides. You don't have to feel rushed. They don't have to be impatient. There's plenty of time to get back into this game for the Turkish side. Plenty of time to break down the opposition. 
Just need to be patient with it. Ball played out wide. Sokka, brilliant touch. Ball played in. Dangerous area. Ramos clears away. Now maybe a chance to counter, but no. The full... Oh, sorry. The half-time whistle being blown. Well, we do see the English side currently up. One goal to nil. Mercier through that man. Fantastic goal. A little bit unfortunate if you're an Alte supporter because it was bobbling around. It was a difficult one. But in the end, pretty sure it was Rambolic. Came out on top. I just find the goal. Really difficult to defend those ones. You're trying to get it clear. You're trying to smash the circle or B button to get it away but so difficult to do so and there you can see the playstyle pluses for your favourite players if you want to quickly pause and have a look and see what they're running or you can go to the virtual pro game and youtube channel where you can find plenty of meta builds if you are interested in making someone a little bit stronger a little bit more to the meta all played forward early from Alte, but couldn't win the header. Mel, with the searching ball out wide, finds the Matsui. Really nice pass. Sokra, heavy touch. Maybe just caught in two minds. Wasn't sure whether to pass it back to his teammate. Kalmin to Lev with a power shot. Blocked by Ramos and out. Into touch for a corner. Well, mercy uh, An opportunity here from the corner to make something happen. Kalmin to the edge of the box. Preston wins the header. Well, I'll tell you, they need to find a way to break this defence down here. Unable to get the ball through right now. You can see they're putting the pressure on there. They're trying to step on the on the gas pedal, so to speak. Oh, it's fallen kindly into the feet of Tommy. Now Sonaris, he can find the right chance, but no... Sanji comes back once again, makes the tackle really well done by the left centre mid of Mercier. Been really good so far today. Big weapon nods it away. Tim fails to win the header. Now Kalmin playing it forward. Sokra. Sanji. Kalmin turning back out. Cycles the ball. Now it's Remo. Your players in the middle. Chip up. It's cross. Oh, it's beautiful. Is it offside? It could be offside. It is not. The goal stands. Mercier, two goals up. The scoop up cross. Then the pass across goal. Simple as that for that side. English side. They made it look easy. And it is a best of two. It is an aggregate scoreline. I'd say need to find a way back into this match ASAP, though. As we are in dangerous territories, this becoming a very tough game to claw back. It was Lev that scored the first goal, sorry, not Rem. Matsui. All played to the edge of the box. Sanji nods it down to Rem. Can he find a potential shot? Really nice shot. Is he onside? He was onside, and he's hit the side net and should have been the third for Mercier. Should have been a, another goal for Lev, but no. So close to being three goals down, I'll tell you, Sports. Just maybe a little bit, a little bit too slow so far with the way they moved the ball. Lev, ball played to the edge of the box. Bez plays it down. Now it's Sokra. Sanji once again might look for that chip up cross into the middle, but goes back. Ramo, Sanji now. That's going to be a foul. You would have thought. Referee says no. They got the ball. Now Alte can look to counter. Big weapon with a really important tackle there. Really important little lock on the ball. That's a lovely ball over the top. All the way to the J. Fella. 
Tommy fighting not fighting for the ball with Sanji, but comes out on top. Mercy Air Man. All played out wide. Kalman first time crossing into the box, but no one's home. Big weapon nods it down. Remo takes the touch, I think. His striking partner might have wanted that one. Zanares, really nice touch, takes him through. Moves the ball fast. Tim, Tommy to Jesper, into the feet of Jay. Oh, what a save from Adri. Massive save to deny Olte from getting their first goal of the game. Ball played into the back post. It's Preston. It's 2-1. I'll tell you, they've been down throughout the whole of this game so far, but they find the first goal and find a way back into the game, and that's going to be a sigh of relief from not just the players, not just the fans, but the entire Alte Esports club. They need to defend well here, though, because Mercier, they're still coming at them. They defend well, get the ball clear. Now they can probably feel the momentum swinging in their favour ever so slightly. All played over the top, headed away. And now come Mercier. Looking to regain their two goal advantage. Sokra. Twist and turn and Matt Soe there in support, but says he doesn't need him. Still Sokra now. Great run. Plays it to the edge of the box a little bit further than he probably wanted. Kalman looks to twist and turn, but tackled. Now it's the J fella. Jesper, Tommy, that's a really good opportunity here for Alta. It's a lovely ball played over the top. He's got the pace here. Denny, can he find the finish? Great save from Adri. Once again, the green time finish denied by the goalkeeper. With just seven minutes left on the clock. Before we head through to the second game of this best of two. Sokra plays it forward for Lev. Over the top ball, out down this left-hand side. It's Inves. Plenty of players in support. Kalmin nods it over. Knocks it over, should I say. Matsui. Twisted and turning. Remo with the block. Into the hands of Middleton. Maybe one more chance for Olte here to bring this one level before the full-time whistle. Let's see. Tommy. Oh, that's a really good tackle there. Take the ball away from Alte right as they're coming forward. Sokra with a long search and swing and ball down to this left-hand side. Kalman is there. Inves tackled. Maybe one chance if Alte can get forward fast enough. Zanares goes back. Jesper to Tommy. The full-time whistle. No, a free kick. One last chance before we go to game number two. Can they create something here from this set piece? Last chance saloon here for Alte. Ball played in by Tim and no one's there. That one should be the full-time whistle. Referee wants to keep it going. <laughs> there it is. The full-time whistle being blown and Mercier Esports with a 2-1 victory in the first leg over Alte Esports. So that means we'll be going into the second leg with just the one goal advantage for Mercier. Still plenty of time to come back here if you are an old taste fan but if you're a mercy a fan you're gonna be very very happy with the first game you can see right there big goal from that man fantastic job getting his team ahead early on but maybe could have had more uh that was levinkin uh, for those of you that are wondering but thank you so much for all of you in the chat for sticking around for enjoying these games with us we're up to 271 people watching in the chat Hopefully you're all enjoying it. I understand that some of the Turkish fans are probably a little bit disappointed, but you've still got plenty of minutes to try and get back into this one. Can they do it? We'll have to wait and see. Alte Esports versus Mercier. The second leg will be coming up right after this break. We'll be back soon. <laughs> 